Our Board of Trustees meeting for April 20th, 2023 just wrapped up and I wanted to brief you on a few of the actions taken and items discussed in tonight's meeting. The district finances are always an important part of each meeting. First, we approved the budget amendment, which updated the current year's projected revenues and expenses, bringing them more in alignment. Arlington ISD's Chief Financial Officer, Darla Moss, gave us a finance update, which she does periodically to help trustees make informed decisions about our goals, assist us with planning, and to promote transparency. This presentation was especially important because it laid out what is coming up with next year's budget which starts July 1st and is currently being developed. So much goes into building the budget. Tonight, we looked at student enrollment projections, student demographics, attendance rates, property values, and our priorities for the next fiscal year and more. Our budget priorities for the coming year include safety and security, competitive compensation, student recovery, intervention, and academic support, stabilization due to enrollment loss, fund Arlington ISD's strategic plan year two strategies and cost management. Another recurring topic in our meetings is the 2019 bond and tonight we approved the general contractor for the bond funded renovations planned for Adams and Hill Elementary Schools. We also approved purchases of bond funded elementary music instruments and supplies. Finally we heard an update on the current legislative session where nearly 1,400 education-related bills have been filed. The presentation this evening reviewed how the session is shaping up in relation to the district's legislative priorities, which include school safety, school finance, human capital, learning lag, and parental rights. There are many bills proposed that would impact each of our priorities, but as bills are still going through the committee process, it's impossible to accurately forecast at this point which ones will pass, and how will they impact us. Those are just a few of the highlights from tonight's meeting. If you would like more details on any of these or any of the items I didn't cover, please click on the link on the screen to watch the entire meeting.